What's up everyone? Welcome to this video. In this video, we will see what happened on your USD today, what trades we could have entered, and also um, next days, what which possible scenarios we might see. So first of all, <clears throat> on your USD, keep in mind that we are bearish. Uh, overall trend is very bearish overall. Let me go on to the four hours, which makes it pretty clear in which market we are in. The sprint in lower lows and lower highs with some intermediate structure or uh, some bullish structure minor minor bullish structure uh, going in the one hour we can observe that yesterday we started going lower and we broke below the previous low which is actually an, a very important low uh, with which we went below one uh, as you can see now the euro and US dollar are about the same, the same price, the same value. So what happened today? How we could have traded it? Going to the 15 minutes after taking out the low and therefore going against the trend, which is again bearish, we see that we take out the previous low, therefore we take out external liquidity. Price might go now for internal liquidity after that. And in the 15 minutes after the Asian range, we have a push lower. After this push lower, we go to lower time frames, and we have a clear change of direction with break of structure turning bullish. Demand area created, and after this demand area is approached, we take out the previous high, creating a change of Carter. After this change of Carter, again, this is the demand that created the change of Carter and we could have taken this trade. Now there are two options. This is already valid confirmation. You can already take the trade from the demand area. I will put the stop loss below the low and take profit. We might need to target at least this supply right here for a 123.7 or 4. After that, what took place was this change of Carter. Of course, this is riskier entry with tighter stop loss and just by targeting the high we already have a one to seven overall targeting that supplies that we talked about earlier is still a one it, it is actually a one to ten so here is the today it was really interesting let's see what can happen during next days keeping in mind that overall we are bearish I will keep an eye on these supply areas. We already reached one supply area right here today. Manipulated the supply area to go lower. Um, of course, we have this higher one right here. And I will just keep an eye for some intraday quick sell scalps, uh, possibly with Asian range, which are not is not really scalping, it's more intraday, but uh, with quicker confirmations above the Asian range, trying to catch the high of the day. So I'll keep an eye on this supply tomorrow. Um, possibly I will keep an eye on this supply, which is above previous day high, which is this one, at least for now, but I believe that this will be today's high. Previous day high. Uh, I believe we will go higher, maybe create Asian range and possibly creating Asian range, possibly manipulating Asian range to give some entries. Let's see if that takes place. Um, for now, just be on the sidelines to see what plays out. Uh, and then I will jump on the market when my setup forms.